New York, the start of the baseball season was enjoyable for the Yankees faithful. The Yanks won handily on Thursday, pasting the Baltimore Orioles 7-2 at home, and they did so by flaunting their two biggest strengths, their 1-9 through nine offensive firepower and baseball's deepest bullpen. Why did Yankees' Adam Adovino flourish an opener? Pre-game talk played a role reliever Adam Adovino worked one and a third perfect innings with three strikeouts in his New York Yankees debut. Meantime, out in Seattle the Red Sox began their title defense by getting creamed 12-4 at the hands of the rebuilding Mariners. This was just one bad day, but Red Sox nation has to be a little nervous already because ace Chris Sale only topped out at 92 miles per hour while being hit around for seven runs over three innings. Here are three other reasons why Yankees fans already should be very excited. No flash in pan ball of energy Luke Boyd hit like crazy last year after he was traded to the Yankees on July 29th, it was more of the same this spring for Voigt, who hit for a lot of power while handling pressure of not being guaranteed an opening day roster spot. Then on Thursday at Yankee Stadium, we got another big dose of Voigt and then loud and excited choruses of Luke A. in the first inning of the Yankees' first game when he rocketed the runners on the corners, one out blast over the center field wall to put his club up three runs right away. Later, Boyd showed he's no one-trick pony by working two walks and taking a bases-loaded fastball off the elbow to finish with a perfect day, four times up, four times on base and four RBI, which by the way hikes his career Yankees totals to 15 homers and 37 RBI with a 1.135 ops in 40 games. How much more do we need to see from Voigt for everyone to become true believers that he's for real? Another half season, a full season. The Yankees superstar right fielder has seen enough, it doesn't really surprise me because I see how hard he works and I see him in the weight room and I see him coming in early to take swings. Aaron Judge said, he prepares the right way. When you see that of a guy off the field and in the cages and in the weight room, you know he's going to go out there and perform on the field. So it's no surprise to me. That's just Louis V, Louis V, apparently that's Judge's nickname for Voight because he laughed when bringing it up in his post-game interview Thursday. We think Popeye is more appropriate. New and improved Stanton, when Giancarlo Stanton and Judge were new teammates in 2018 spring training, they talked about wanting to improve their game by learning from one another. Neither ever had a fellow giant-sized superstar slugger for a teammate before, so Stanton being traded to the Yankees provided opportunities for the both of them to do a lot of watching and mind-picking on and off the field. On opening day, 2019, both looked like complete players combining for three opposite field hits and four walks in ten plate appearances. In the first inning, Judge and Stanton, the Yankees know. Two and three hitters, set the stage for Voight by lacing, consecutive hits to right to put runners on the corners with one down. The two bases on balls for Stanton were a great sign because he's never walked 100 times in a season and finished with just 70 last year. Asked about Stanton and Judge's opening day performances, manager Aaron Boone responded, continuing to try and get better. Those guys aren't going to change who they are in their approach, but I think they have wanted to be better situational and I thought they really did a good job on opening day, which comes with a lot of butterflies and excitement. They did a really good job of staying within themselves and setting the tone for us offensively, Judges Day included the usual terrific all-around play, which included smart base running and a nice defensive play. In the first inning, Judge took a chance going from first to third on Stanton's hit, and he made it with ease. In the six, Dwight Smith Jr. laced the ball off the bottom of the right field wall and was held to a single because Judge played it perfectly and quickly fired a dart to second base. Love from odds makers does it mean anything that Westgate Las Vegas Superbook lists the Yankees as World Series favorites at 5-1 to one odds? Probably not. Does it mean anything that most bookmakers have the Yankees among the top two or three favorites to win it all? Maybe. Does it mean anything that a lot of media is picking the Yankees to win the World Series and only the Houston Astros received more votes in a pool of 50 of MLB.com and MLB Network experts? 
we think so. We believe this is proof that the Yankees have assembled a ball club that is just as good or better than baseball's other superpowers, the Red Sox, Astros and Los Angeles Dodgers. Our World Series pick, Yankees over the St. Louis Cardinals. Randy Miller may be reached at rmiller at meadvancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at Randy Miller. Find NJ.com on Facebook.